Hi, this is Money with Dan here, sharing a quick introduction to capital gains tax events in Australia. If you invested in assets like rental property, shares, or even crypto assets, and then disposed of that asset, then that could be what's known as a CGT event. If a CGT event has occurred, then you might have a capital gain or capital loss that needs to be reported on your Australian income tax return. But what does disposing of an asset mean? The most common disposals are when you stop being the owner of the asset. If you sell an asset, that's a CGT event. A CGT event will also happen when you transfer your asset to another owner or swap it for a different CGT asset. If your asset is lost, stolen or destroyed, a CGT event could happen when you receive compensation for its loss or when the loss is discovered or the destruction occurred. Now let's look at how you can work out your capital gain or loss. From the selling price, deduct the original cost of the asset and deduct certain other costs associated with acquiring, holding and disposing of the asset. These other costs could include non-deductible interest on loans, stamp duty, legal fees and transfer costs. Generally, you do not include any costs for which you can claim a tax deduction. If you own the asset for at least 12 months and you're an Australian resident for tax purposes, you may be able to reduce your capital gains by 50%. Then when tax time comes around, you report the capital gain or capital loss in your Australian income tax return. Make sure you include the capital gain or capital loss in the correct income year, which is when the CGT event occurred. You can find out more information about capital gains tax in Australia by watching the following video on your screen. This second video is also good if you want to learn how to enter a capital gain or loss in your tax return online using MyTax, which is available to use for free on the MyGov portal.